ahead and look it up. Right there. It says right there. Public works. Public property. All public. I own all of this land. Everything. Are we being detained? Are we being... What are we being okay, then, then I remain silent. You have to detain us. I'm remaining silent. Figure out where you guys are going. Don't worry about where I'm going. I know that you don't need to know speak. Let me speak. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear you speaking. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have three very important situations to share with you. In our first case, no matter if you're going fast or slow, if an officer decides to give you a ticket, that's all that matters. This video shows it perfectly. An innocent driver gets pulled over for allegedly driving too slow with the officer claiming he was going 55 MH in a 65 MP zone. Here's where it gets crazier. After receiving a speeding ticket, which the driver plans to fight in court because it's invalid, he re-enters I-95 North. In less than a minute, the same Virginia State Trooper pulls him over again, this time for driving too slow. The passengers are in disbelief, pointing out the ridiculousness of being ticketed for going under the speed limit. When one of the passengers asks to speak with a supervisor, the officers get defensive and refuse to call for one. Now let's check out the video. We're going at this speed. That's what, 60 miles an hour. This is where we're going at the 60 miles an hour. He came and said, he said that we were going at 680 miles an hour on the right hand side. Go literally at 60. This is the kind of cops that we have to deal with. Yes. Welcome to the standard room. Yes. Please stay please. This conversation will be on because there's one of the safety line, all right? Speed limit is going to be 65 miles per hour. You're just doing 55. Let me see the driver license. You got it again. Okay. Yes. Just stay in the car. Let him do what he's going to do. Two tickets, one for speed. Okay. You got it there? Yeah. What how much is that? You were going 60. Okay, 60. I've been recording you. You're going like 60. Now he says you're going too slow and he pulled you pull over because you're going too slow. Can this we help make you? Sure everybody okay? Yeah, we're oh, yeah, all good. You're the yeah. best. Thank uh, you I, ju I, I just came. I just came. Yeah, I just does come he, come ha does he have too. a supervisor? I'm sorry? Does he have a supervisor? Yeah, we have. Can we call him in? No, you cannot. Why? We cannot call the supervisor. You, you can't call. Can no, you call? You, call you can right call now. for us. You're a public servant. <laughs> Why you not call the supervisor right now? You can call the supervisor. We request. We were requesting a supervisor. Supervisor. Okay, Thank you guys you. are talking over each other. Okay, 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 we need. I just came here. Yeah, we need and requesting a supervisor. Why do you need a supervisor? We need to talk to him. Why do you need for to talk the situation to him? that we're going through yes. right now? Understood. Thank okay, you. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah. The situation that you guys are currently in, mm -hmm. we're not gonna call a supervisor. All right. Okay, no and that's problem. and what's your name? Triple Arthur. What's Triple that? Arthur. Your number, okay. sir? Oh, he's gonna give it to me. He's no, no, you. you. Me? Yes. Uh, it's five zero six. All okay. Right. All right. And uh, you I said you to... won't call the, the supervisor. Yeah, right? because you haven't given me a reason. I did. For the reason, reason that we're getting pulled over. And I told you the trooper is going to come to you. No, but I'm hour. asking you if you can call the supervisor. You said you, cannot, you call. cannot call yeah, him cannot call. because. But you laugh at when you go over there, right? No, you I did not. Yes, I recorded. Why are you lying? Everything recorded. Sir. I cannot, you know no, you I'm guys need to Okay, yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. All right. I just want to and even if we weren't, I try to ask for a supervisor, but you, you didn't want to call us. Uh, okay. Here you go, sir. All right. Today you're gonna to be receiving a ticket for driving too slow. Is yes. he 65 miles per hour, not 55. All right. Okay. People are paying to be in these lanes. Here's your driver. Is he calling the supervisor? Uh, for you got a supervisor coming back. Right. Is he calling Fort the supervisor? The supervisor is coming now. Fifth. That's okay. No, but I it's did okay. But I did for you, sir, circle the dispatch number. Circle it's that. okay, don't worry about it. What I have to do? Okay. I waited for the From supervisor. Next? Okay. I waited for the waiting. supervisor. Okay. But All right. at the end of the day, right? I, I waited it. for the supervisor. Don't give him a thing over there. Okay. Don't worry about what's going on. Okay, okay. don't worry about okay. it. I waited for the okay. supervisor. Wait, so you don't get out. Stay here. Call the supervisor, yeah. I got I got back to It's it's ridiculous. One he said we were going too fast when we were going yes. on the right hand side we had cars in front of us we were going at the speed limit he said you were going too fast yes. and then we're pulling out you're going at 60 because you just pulled out and then he said you're going too slow that situation is wild and frustrating imagine getting pulled over 
for allegedly going too slow, even though you're only 10 miles under the limit. Then you get back on the road and boom, pulled over again for the same thing. It's like you're stuck in no win game. It really makes you wonder if the officer was just looking for reasons to ticket this driver, especially since they didn't even want to call a supervisor when asked. This kind of thing feels like harassment is one thing to enforce traffic laws, but when you're ticketed for going a little under the limit and then targeted again right after, something doesn't add up. It's a perfect example of how some officers can abuse their authority or let their egos take control instead of just doing their job fairly. The passenger asking for a supervisor is completely reasonable. And the fact that the officers got defenses says a lot. People have the right to question authority without being treated like they're doing something wrong. At the end of the day, it's important to hold officers accountable in situations like this, because otherwise it just erodes trust in law enforcement. And for the driver, fighting that ticket in court is the best move. If the system works the way it should, he should be able to show that the ticket was unfair. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep walking. Ignore it. Keep walking, keep walking. We're good, man. What's up with you? Am I being detained? Okay, we're, we're being detained, yeah? Like You're not figuring out nothing today, buddy. I don't care what your problems are, dude. Okay. Leave me alone. Please. I don't. If you want to follow me and see, figure out what I'm doing, that's your investigation. Are we being. Okay, then, then I remain silent. Bruh. I'm remaining silent. Where you guys are going. Don't worry about where I'm going. I know this don't need to know that. Speak. Let me speak. I don't want to hear you. I, I don't want to hear you speaking. Open carry. Okay. Why are you detaining us? Yeah. Why are you? Yeah. Know yeah. Why are you you know what you just did? Bitch. You just used your own qualified immunity. Yeah, so you're just you done, dude. You're done. If you know the okay. statute and you know what we're doing, so why, why are you detaining us? Don't, don't worry about where we're going. I know. It's going to and returning from. So I could walk from Miami all the way to Tallahassee and you can't stop me. So bye. Am I being detained still? Am I being detained? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm not, come on. You're, don't worry about where I'm going, dude. If you want to follow me, we're not, we're not doing this, bro. Don't worry, dude. I don't want. It's part of the statute, right, that we have to know. It's going to, you don't have to know anything. It's just saying, as long as I'm going right to and returning from going, fishing, right, hunting, or camping, right, so are you until going to or from? it doesn't matter. It, doesn't matter. it does not matter. Yeah, That's it does. It well, matter. okay. okay. Let's say I was returning from fishing. We're not we're, committing a crime. We're, 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 we're the law. You've already explained that you know the law. I know. That's why I'm here. So, Bye. Are we still detained? Are we still detained? You got more. Of your, you got more of your friggin' buddies coming. They're I mean, like, trying to jam us up and say that uh, he's right there. That uh, they're detaining us because they're not sure if we're going to or from fishing. What are you gonna fish for today? Don't worry about what I'm fishing for, bud. Honest, You're not a fishing up. wildlife guy, dude. You don't know nothing about fishing regulations, and you don't know nothing about my fishing license. So, kick rocks, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry about my fishing license. Hey, uh, what's your name? What's your name? Da Davin Mar, and badge number? 4 8? 30. 30? Thank you. I, I do. It's on me. Nope. Because <laughs> I know I've already dealt with you before. I've dealt with this whole city. Yeah, this city? I've dealt with them. Yeah, yeah. Your, your city's stupid. Okay, I know. I know. I, you know. You know they're stupid. I yeah, yeah. Your, your city's stupid. Okay, I know. But I know. I, you know. You know they're stupid. I have it on my person. Yes, I do. Okay, I read the statute. Uh huh. We need to see it. You do not. I think you're misinterpreting. No, I'm not. It says possession of the box, and then you have to be a. I know if you have it. Right, it's black and white. You, do you understand that? Fishing license. Okay, is your name on it? Yep, on the back side of it, dude. Well, see, the, the thing is, it says possession, not, and I have to give it to a commission officer, which you are not. 
So I'm not going to play these games with you. Are we still being detained? Yeah, call him. Call him out. Dude. I, are we still being detained? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Bring him, dude. <laughs> Hey, they're, they're sending FWC out, bro. They're cool. sending FWC. <laughs> what, what, what lawful reason do they have to do that? Uh, resource inspection. Whatever. It's statue, bro. These guys can't run it. They can't do anything with our fish weapon. ID, please? Yeah. Hers 462. What was your name? Well, I, I'm sorry. Martina? Montina. All right, perfect. Hey man, you looking at it? it? It looks sexy, don't it? It's, it's like, ooh, wee! It is nice. Hey, AR, it's a 300 blackout. Oh yeah. I'm just waiting on the suppressor now. Six months. Six. Yeah. Hopefully. Section <laughs> three, subsection H. What we're doing is completely lawful. You yep. cannot detain us for lawful activity. The state versus uh, Florida versus JL. It was a court, a federal court case where a guy that was actually a felon with a possession of a fi firearm in the back of an Uber. The judge said, oh, this is thrown out because there was no probable cause. That's why they don't put firearms into 901-151 for the search for him, for him, him possessing that firearm until, until they ran it. I'm just, look up Florida versus JL. Florida versus JL. You can't just stop us for nothing. For a constitutional right that you swore, you swore, you swore, you swore she swore, all y'all swore to defend this. And then, and then, am I detained? Am I detained? So, you swore an oath to defend this, but I'm still detained. It's stupid. No. I don't want to hear you speak. Uh, I, I have my license. I'm possession. I know. Absolutely. Well, they can meet us when we're going fishing. But what reasonable articulable suspicion do you have crime. that we don't have it? I'm telling you. I cannot verify that it's valid or okay, not. But what reasonable not, articulable suspicion do you have Hang to on. say... I'm not running away, everybody. I'm just wait, I'm waving to my truck. Hey, what's up? Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Are we good? So where, where are you guys going to head to? Don't worry. You can, if, you wanna, have, if you want to follow us... FWC go meet you there. Well, they, if you want to follow us so that you can tell FWC, because I don't have to help you with your investigation. I don't have to help you at all. Okay. Am I still detained? I'm just trying to make Am I, I don't want to make conversation. I help you out. You're not helping. <laughs> you just stopped me, bro. You're not helping. Right. How are you helping me? Violating your rights would be taking the gun away from you. Yeah, good luck. Detainment is violation of rights. Yeah. That's what I mean. That would be That's violating my... your rights. Illegal detainment. You can't pull over anyone okay. because... Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Look at these guys. <laughs> Right now, you guys are good to go. We'll have All right, see you later. Have, no have a good day. No longer hey, detained, no? we're no longer detained. No longer detained. No longer detained. No longer detained. Lost the guys. All right, we good? We're good. We're good. He's bringing me the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy was filming. He's yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Hey, and I respect your your Second Amendment right too, man. For for all of your community, it's necessary for you to protect yourself. You know what I mean? Necessary to protect yourself for your community, you know? Yes, sir. Have a good one, bud. All right, let's break it down, guys. So lately, you'll notice more cops throwing around the term reasonable, articulable suspicion when they want to detain people. It's like they've been binge watching auditor videos and learning the lingo. But here's the catch. They're leaving out the most important part. It's not just about having reasonable suspicion. It has to be reasonable suspicion of a crime. Think about it like this. You're walking down the street, minding your business and a cop stops you. Naturally, you ask, did I do something wrong? Am I being detained? And they hit you with what? No, you haven't committed a crime, but yes, you're detained. That's a total red flag. If you didn't commit a crime, why are you being detained? This is where they're overstepping and violating your Fourth Amendment rights, which protect you from unreasonable searches and seizures. Now, let's take an example. There was a guy who got stopped while filming outside a police station. The officer kept saying he had reasonable suspicion, but when asked if there was any crime being committed, the officer couldn't point to anything. The guy knew his rights and stood his ground, asking, what crime do you suspect me of committing? The officer eventually backed down, but it's a perfect example of how cops try to use 
fancy language to justify an unlawful detainment. We've got to stay sharp. If you find yourself in that situation, it's key to know the law. Just because they're using the words reasonable suspicion doesn't mean they're right. They need to suspect you of committing, about to commit, or having already committed a crime. It's no crime, no detainment. And if they detain you without that, take it to court. You got legal recourse. In fact, we've seen officers lose their qualified immunity, the thing that protects them from being sued when they knowingly break the law. So don't let them trick you into thinking they can just detain you for nothing. Know your rights, stand your ground, and if they push it too far, make sure they pay for it in court. So as I was explaining, not specifically saying that you were two talking, uh -huh. but they appear to be communicating vehicle from vehicle, okay, parking next to each other, then either the same person or a third deputy followed me around all the way to the Arco gas station. I crossed this, before I even crossed the street, I witnessed him pull into the parking lot over there by uh, the breakfast area. He made a, a U-turn in the empty parking lot, okay? Made the right turn on this street, went all the way to the newer uh, apartment buildings, came back around, and then I spotted him over there by Shell. And on my video, I told him, pull into the Shell so I can confront him. And I said that multiple times, I, I clearly expressed to him, why are you following me? Uh -huh. Well, like a coward, he took off back into this parking lot. And by the time I got here, all three were gone. Okay. okay? And so this, this occurred after you were videotaping this facility. Correct. So, so why were you videotaping this facility? For my own business. Okay, but this is a private facility. This is public area, ma'am. Okay. So can it's you see how... It's a secure facility. It Where? Showing me the sign that a secure facility, sir. Okay. So... You, Show me the sign. The with Hold the on. Show me the sign where it says secured facility. Okay. You can only access it through an access card. There's eight. Where am I standing right now? Wire. Where are we standing right now? Right now, where am I standing? No. Answer my question. Where am I standing right now? So you are Here, not allowing us to talk. You right? know why? No, I'm not going to allow you because in, instead of doing your job and listening to me, you're trying to accuse me that as if I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong? Well, if you're in here recording our video, our yeah. vehicle, right? right? Yes. In a hey, secured this is facility. A secured facility. So what? That, I'm telling you, that would be suspicious to us. That's not normal. Okay, right? so once you figure out that that's legal, why continue to pursue me? So, I don't know what they did. What I'm trying to help you understand. No, you is, no. Right now, no, let's go I'm back. Not gonna argue with okay, you, okay. Then if you're not gonna help me, and if you don't wanna argue with me. You, both of you, are dismissed, are and dismissed? I will absolutely. Well, I can stand here too, can't I? Well, so can I. Okay. Right? Okay. And I can film. In fact, I can go over here and film this. Actually, no, you can't. Okay. Yes, no, I can. you can't. Do not assault me, sir. I did not assault yes, you. Yes, you did. I stepped in your way. Don't do that. You do that again, and we will have a serious problem. I'm telling yes, you, we today will. is we not the you? day. Today is not the day. I will stand my ground and I will physically defend myself. I promise you that. I don't want that, right? Don't don't so assault me again. I'm promising. I did not you. assault you. Yes, you did. did. My hands were up I can, in I'm here. a free they man. Did not move. I'm a free man on a public property. I can move around as I please. If you do this shit again, I promise you, no, you will have a problem. You're not welcome. Don't to talk to me there. again. You're both dismissed. Well, I'm not dismissed, sir. This is my sergeant. He's here to talk to you, okay? I don't want to talk to anybody anymore. Okay, okay. then you're Goodbye. free to leave. I can free to stay. What's your name, Sergeant? Elator. Am I allowed to be on this property? Not right now. Why we not? I told you to leave. What you law am no, I breaking? You have no business here. What law am I breaking? You have no business here. Absolutely, I have business here. Where, I just what explain is what my business what is. What is your business? Talk to your lady over here. I'll explain it to you. I'm doing my investigation. Okay. You You're can not leave. Welcome. I'm not going to leave. You can piss off. This is public property. I'm conducting my own business, my own investigation, and you don't have any rights to tell me I have to leave. We do. No, you don't. This is I don't give a what you say. You can say whatever you want. I don't have to follow your. Okay. Okay. Let me look this up real quick. Go ahead, look You're it up. To to right there. It says right there. Public works. Public property. All public. I own all of this land. Everything. I own these vehicles. I own this lot. I own your dress code. Everything that's on you. On you. On you. Everything. Your salaries. I pay for them. already been explained that you need to leave.
I don't give a damn what you say. You don't have any right to tell me I have to leave public property. I'm not breaking any laws. This, this secure facility is it's not a secure facility. I'm in a public, public parking closed. lot. You need to I am leave. not behind the fence, you idiot. Well, I have freedom of speech. You should hey, have done your, your job correct. Is out there. My freedom of speech everywhere where it's public. No. All we're telling you is that we've asked you to leave the facility. You have no right. That's unlawful order. This is a county property, right? It's public property. It's public property. Can you see what? You can record all you want. Exactly. You just said I could record all I want. You can record that, but then we've asked you to leave. <laughs> okay. Am I leaving or am I recording? What am I doing? I just said if you want to record my, my car and document it, you're more than welcome. But that... I've asked you to leave, so it's time to leave. Okay. So am I am I allowed to record? You, you already got it. You already okay. got my car. You got my license plate. What if you I want to What if I want to do it a little bit number. more? It's now time for you to leave. Yeah. I didn't get his vehicle. Yeah, you already did. did. I watched you. Time to go. No, it's not. Time to go when I say it's time to go. Okay, so now I need to identify you because you are trespassing. Okay. So I need your I'm on public your, property. I just told you you're not welcome to be here. Well, I'm welcome Therefore, to record, I need right? Your ID. I'm, I'm welcome. I'm, Where's your driver's license? I'm not going to give you anything. Okay, then you need to leave. Otherwise, you are going to be trespassed. When I'm done recording? At point, I'm investigating a crime. When I'm done recording? You are legally required to provide Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. I want his business card. Not, Does he have a business card? Not Does he have a business card? Go get his business card for me. I want your business card. Who you think you are, assaulting citizens, man? I didn't assault. You're gonna you. get a complaint. My hands were not yeah. out of here. You stepped right in, right in, right in front of me, so that I would walk into you. That's what you did, and you had physical contact. And I have every right to be here and record. Yeah, shake your hand. Keep on shaking it. You're definitely gonna get a complaint. Okay. Yeah. This is not gonna be acceptable. Okay. I want his business card. Go knock on his door, so, or, or otherwise I will come up here. I don't give a damn what he's on. Okay, well, you're not welcome to approach him. You need to stop. Give me a business card, deputy. I told or you. Or sergeant, you. whatever. You're not welcome to approach him. He's on the phone. Okay, okay good. I'll wait. You need to wait. I'll wait. Show me the sign where it says business hours on this lot. Where is it at? Where is the sign of business hours of this lot? You've already been told to leave. Doesn't matter what you say. I said, what are the business hours of this lot? I'm not required to answer your question. You need to leave. At this point, you I'm, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to leave when I, so when I want to leave. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Just because you asked me to leave doesn't give I you lawful authority. You. I am telling you. I don't give a damn leave. what you're telling me. Okay. Get it? I don't care what you're telling me. Oh, I get I'm it. following the law. The law no, gives me the not. right to be on public property, record, investigate, Anything that has to do with public interest, especially if I am personally investigating a crime, being a victim of a crime, but one of you gangsters. Okay, so I just tried to talk to you and investigate that, and you were not complying. You crossed that line when you tried to accuse me of something that I did wrong. I asked you what okay? happened on the 22nd. I just told you. And instead, you just started yelling over me. Right. So when, not, I can't help when, you when, when this dude attempted to accuse me and then assault me. Sure he did. It's on record. It's recorded that he stepped in front of you. To yeah. Which he doesn't. He doesn't. I wasn't going anywhere that was restricted. I was just freely moving. Got it? I'm not arguing. Where was I going? Was I jumping over the fence? Was I going through the gate? Or was I simply walking where it is clearly marked for pedestrians to walk? Look the way you're parked. You're all parked illegally. If there were vehicles here, this would have been in violation. So you think you own this lot? Does it belong to you? 
Does that belong to you? It belongs to us. Got it? We the people. The moment you put the uniform on, you work for me. And your boss, your sheriff, is elected by me. Understood? So you, you and him, you all work for me. And I tell you what to do. And I tell you how to do it and when to do it. And I pay you to do that job. And when you don't do your job the way that I expect you, according to law, we are going to have a problem. Got it? Get him over here. I need your business card, sir. Do you or do you not have a business card? You talking to me? Yes. Do you have a business card? Well, you said it like you've asked me 15 times. I just opened my door. I'm trying to get your attention, but she would won't even allow me to walk up to you. Well, I'm busy doing something. So am I. Thank you, sir. You see? You see? No trespassing. Learn something. You're wrong. Yeah. If you were right, you would have already done something about it. Do it. Do it. Better not see one of you follow me. By the way, that camera, I'm gonna FOIA that. Make sure you don't delete it. In this video, a citizen was simply exercising their constitutional right to film in a public space. But instead of respecting those rights, law enforcement showed up with unnecessary intimidation. The officers overstepped their boundaries, claiming it was a secure facility, despite there being no proper signage or legal justification to back it up. Filming in public is fully protected under the First Amendment, especially when you're on public property. But instead of acknowledging that, the officers escalated the situation, blocking the citizen's path and demanding it without probable. This kind of behavior goes beyond a simple mistake. It's a blatant misuse of authority and shows a complete disregard for the laws they're supposed to be upholding. A real life example of this kind of overreach can be seen in cases like Turner v. Driver where a citizen was arrested for filming outside a police station. The court later ruled in favor of the citizen, affirming that filming in public spaces is a protected right. Yet, time and time again, we see officers who either don't understand the law or choose to ignore it, harassing people who are simply engaging in legal activities. It's unacceptable for officers to harass citizens over something as basic as filming in public. This isn't just a one-off situation. It's part of a bigger issue. When law enforcement resorts to intimidation instead of respecting people's rights, it erodes public trust and weakens the very freedoms they've sworn to protect. If officers continue trampling on constitutional rights, it's on us to push for a reform. We need to make sure that those who misuse their authority face real consequences. At the end of the day, the law is meant to protect us all and it's essential that those tasked with enforcing it understand and respect that.